Hey guys, welcome to another full self-driving video. This is a pretty amazing video where we go almost two hours, about 70 miles with zero intervention. So in this journey, you'll be going from the Burlington Mall all the way down to UMass Amherst. We start off pretty normal through suburban roads. Now right after we get going, these roads are pretty narrow. So once you have cars parked on either side, it starts to get really, really close. And as we start to merge into this, this road here, we end up running into an interesting situation. This guy is trying to give us way, but we slow down. So he tries to go through and, oh, look at that. That was close. I don't know why self-driving tried to drive into the car and then move out. Maybe it was getting too close to the curb over here, but that did make me skip a heartbeat. This is a standard right turn, so it's it's okay. It looks for the cars and I'm beginning to get comfortable with these ones. But look at this. This Amazon truck is right about there. And FST basically waits for these other cars to go by. It does a pretty good job. It's gonna go right after this one. That was nicely done. Now this is a weird cloudy sunny day so a lot of the camera settings are just not right for the amount of changing light that's happening here. So we get blown out every so often. Now you're supposed to take 95 south so it's going to be this exit that will come up. But here's another interesting situation. There's a biker and basically there's no way to go around this person. So FST goes behind and slows down and basically follows her for a while before getting into the exit. Again, nicely done. These exits are pretty standard right now. so. Uh, Really nothing much to comment about over here. It does a standard merge. Uh, even though this exit has a short runway, it still does a pretty good job. And now we're going to go and merge into Route 2 West. <clears throat> What's interesting over here is you'll see it gives indicator once, twice, three times, and then four times. That's pretty, pretty weird actually. So after four, four indicators, it, it does do a pretty good job going through the exit. Now, one of the observation here is this exit does have a somewhat of a long ramp but FST always waits and right up to the last moment when the merge is almost finished why wait why if you don't have room at that point so for some reason they should probably fix it where it starts it should start moving into the merge a little beforehand we got lucky here there was nobody so it worked out fine Okay, this is uh, another absolutely crazy rotary that's coming up. This is the Concord Rotary. It's actually right next to a prison. Uh, it's interesting. But man, uh, I, I dislike this rotary. But look, it does a pretty good job. It holds on, creeps in, and then just goes like a normal human being. It detects that that white car is kind of uh, this this right this one here is slowing down, so it 
is fine. It chases through and makes the turn. Good job. Good job here. Good job. Uh, this is again pretty standard. It's, uh, it needs to stay on the right hand side and go in the right hand fork and it does a pretty good job. No, no problems here. Now it's going to do some of these standard uh, move into the passing lane maneuvers. Uh, does it with without any problems and then when it realizes there's a car coming fast behind it it changes back to the, the right lane and let the car pass there's a car just coming up right now on the screen you can see wow there's another Tesla you know one of the things I've wondered is if there can be inter-Tesla communication where it tells each other what it's doing to help self-driving. That'd be pretty cool. But again, a very similar maneuver here. It goes to the right lane, passes, and then moves back. Uh, I mean, goes to the left and then moves back to the right. Now, here is another interesting uh, merge. As you can see on the map, it's going to be merging in with this other highway. Now. When a human, when I'm driving, what I typically do is I stay on the fast lane and I know that the right hand lane is going to essentially disappear. It's going to merge in and the lane that's coming from the merge on my left becomes the fast lane. So I just stay on this lane and when I get an opportunity, I just move over to the left lane. So in this case, FST actually just sticks on this lane and in some ways, it it kind of uh, I I can almost feel the car speeding up and then slowing down and speeding up again. But at this point, it realizes that the road is going to be merging because I can I can feel it in the car. And then a little bit later, right as soon as this car merges in, it actually moves over. So that's uh, that's pretty good. I was expecting it to hover behind this this SUV, but it didn't. Okay, now this is like almost like Nuberg rain. Uh, we get hit by rain, okay? Uh, it starts to drizzle and then right from that sunny, nice weather, we get this. Now, the Teslas, automatic wiper is some of the most crappiest code there is. It sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. Anyway, it starts to wipe the windshield here. And guess what? We're going at 60 miles an hour. See that warning? It says FSD may be degrading. I mean, are you kidding me? You're speeding up and you're saying FSD is degrading? So here's where was this one place where I lost a couple of heartbeats. But um, I did not disengage and it looks like it, it, it did a great job and it kept going. So I said, yes, good job there. But you will soon see that the weather clears up and that warning sign goes away. I still have to fight with the, with automatic wipers. It's absolute trash code. All right, now here we are going going by, and guess what? You see a bear. It just goes right in front of us. The Jeep had his blinkers on on the other side, so it was pretty safe, but that was pretty amazing. Uh, this is the view from the Tesla's front camera. I kind of slowed it down a little bit. It looks it looks initially like a dog, but then you really realize how big the thing is when you get closer. The camera doesn't do justice here.
So now we are kind of getting off Route 2 to turn into the suburban uh, roads near UMass Amherst. So this is uh, Athol, Massachusetts, and this is near the Orange Airport. The exit is fine. It does it pretty well. And now, in the past, I've had issues with this stop sign. Uh, FST would always jitter, not be as confident, but this time you'll see it does a really nice job and just goes through. Just waits for this car to pass by and it just kind of merges in nicely. Now again, I speed up right over here to save some time. There's not much happening here, um, just maintains uh, a, st a steady pace on these roads. Again, suburban roads well marked, so not much is going on here. Now there are places where the double line becomes uh, dashed on one side and there are situations where you could overtake but thank god uh, FSD did not try to do such maneuvers because these roads are pretty narrow and the oncoming traffic is pretty fast. So now finally we are kind of entering UMass Amherst. This is kind of the outskirts of the campus. It doesn't jitter on train tracks. Uh, there have been reports where FSD kind of uh, has issues near train tracks, but this was fine. Um, it does this right turn beautifully, no problems. And now we're getting really into the heart of the campus. So again, uh, I'm, I'm getting nervous based on the, you know, how many student drivers are driving uh, in, this, in, in this area. But for the most part, people, people look reasonable, uh, no craziness happening, so that's good. Sorry, I, 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 I grew up in the BU MIT area and I don't like student drivers. I used to take the tea. This is another crazy roundabout and it does an amazing job. Beautifully goes in, kind of stops for a second and then just kind of goes through. Very nicely done. So now we're really getting close to the to the campus. Sorry, <laughs> I, I pat the steering wheel again. Now this part is standard, it's a left turn, sure, but there's nobody coming from the other side, so it does a very nice job, no problems. Now one one thing here is that you see this is a, actually a two-way, but there is no markings in the middle, and it did a pretty good job. Okay, now here is the last move, and man, these roads are really narrow. It's taking me right to the door, okay? It's going to this crazy parking lot and I'm holding my heart at this point. Yeah. Oh, man, this this is close. This is really close. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. So this went through fine. And then uh, it turns in. And I see a bunch of people opening their doors. I'm like, oh my god, don't kill them. And then there's a bunch of students. It's like, oh my god, don't go and hit them either. Be careful. It does a beautiful job. Now you can see the steering is really jittering, it's trying to figure out exactly where to go. You can see that the blue the markings on the map. But eventually it figures out and it goes around. And finally makes the last turn. And that is exactly the door I need to go in through. So I take over over here at this point and park the car. But amazing, this was almost two hours amazing job really amazing so uh, all in all a fantastic trip thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this if you liked it please give me a like and subscribe thanks again